Barnet one, Scunthorpe, Barnet one, Scunthorpe United one. A chilly night here on a Friday night football at the Hive. Dean, what are your assessment of that performance? I suppose we're all a little bit frustrated. Um, I thought the standards we set of late we didn't reach, um, apart from probably Ryan de Havilland. Uh, Laurie had to make a fantastic save. We just went at the races. We looked a little bit jaded. Uh, we looked tired. And uh, our performance was sloppy, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't too pleased with it. What we did do really well was when we went 1-0 down, we showed character to come back and get an equaliser. I did say a half-time suck to the players. <coughs> Sometimes, you just not at the race, doesn't happen, so make sure we don't lose. And uh, to be fair to them, they bounced back after after sort of scum top, uh, opened, up the, uh, opened up the scoring. But I felt there's a lot of time wasting from the opposition. They've come here and, you know, how the referees only had four minutes on is criminal. Because I think the goalkeeper was about six minutes just getting the ball from the back of the stand all the time. So look, it is what it is, not blaming the fish. Like that. We were, in my opinion, we were poor today for the standards we've set. When I saw the team sheet this afternoon, saw Dom Revan uh, straight in, how important is Dom to this side? He's a good player, Dom, good defender. He reads danger well. Like I say, he's still sort of in his pre season mode. Players need a six week pre season to get fit. So we just got to make sure that you know we wrap him up and cut him all that we have. Um, Idris is a blow to us, big player for us, Idris. You know, so Idris today is a, is a major blow, suspended. I think Gorman's picked up his 50 yellow card, so he'll probably be suspended on Tuesday as well. So, um, but that's what the squad's there for. So, but realistically, ideally, we would have liked to give Nicky a rest, but we've got nobody to sort of change with him. He's played every minute of every game, so it's it's a department we've got we've got upgrading and we've got to sort out um but we'll take our time with that so he just looked at it the jade i just thought five six seven of our players look jaded um full credit to the opposition they've come here and they've done a job and they've managed to come away with a point obviously game brought back from saturday three o'clock to seven forty five on a friday has that had a real impact on you guys i don't know you look like i say big players you know Idris is a massive player for us and he's missing tonight and you know, Hawley looked a little bit tired, he was sloppy in his performance. There were so many players really sloppy in their performance. I said the only one that probably reached the levels is Ryan de Havilland. So once again, he was man of the mattress. So for a young player, he's matured, he's excellent. But not really, there's no excuses tonight. Pitch is great, yeah. pitch is in great condition, zippy, no breeze. Beautiful night for a game of football. And you know, at the end of the day, we just weren't good enough. Was the game plan that you saw Scunthorpe play what you expected? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. We, we knew they'd sit in, they'd try to waste time. Um, we tried to play with a high tempo. We were just sloppy in our play. Even the goal we can see, there was sloppy. Not like Pritch to lose the ball in that quite, uh, kind of area, but shows the character he's got. Bounces back with a great goal. Uh, so yeah, and then we had a great chance at the end from a corner. Danny's got to do better with that. He's had three or four chances from from corners today. His heading was terrible. So um, yeah, like I say, very pedestrian. His play as well, Danny. We we're just pedestrian. We were poor. Simple as that. It just happens like that. One of those nights. Where do we go from here? We've obviously got Southend uh, coming here on Tuesday night. A, few, a, a day extra to prepare and to rest up. What's your preparations going to look like? Yeah, I'll like say we're, we're at Chelmsford tomorrow. I've got to watch them, uh, get an opportunity to see them. Southend are away at York. I'll watch them, obviously, when it goes on to the platforms we use. So, yeah, uh, I know a lot about Southend as it is. Um, I know Kev really well. He's doing a great job over there. So, yeah, we look forward to the game. It's an exciting game. They're a massive club in this division, Southend. Realistically, they shouldn't be in it, but they are. And uh, we look forward to it. it should, obviously, two teams sort of looking to get in the higher end of the table. So um, it'll be a challenging game, but we'll prepare for it like we always do. The lads will have a couple of days off. They deserve that. And then um, I think it's seven points for our last three games. So that's really positive. So um, we just got to take the positives out tonight. I mean, it was just sloppy. And uh, we'll go again Monday morning. And again, positive that we're not conceding as many goals. Do you feel like we've turned a corner defensively? You just never know in this division. This is a division where... I said you can lose three on the bounce as quick as win three in the bounce, and uh, it's hard. It's hard to put wins together, so it's just a relentless division. Um, we're still immature. We're an immature side. I think we're the second youngest team in the, in the division, so we're still a little bit immature. So, um, and today we show that immaturity in stages. But, uh, but all in all, we respect the point and just move on to the next game. Dean, I appreciate the time. Cheers.